going to assume that you guys are probably clicking on this video because one, you have a crippling addiction to film photography, kind of like myself, or two, you're looking for a good, affordable, and easy to find point and shoot film camera. Well, look no further because I introduce to you the Pentax IQ Zoom 105 WR. Yeah, let's get into it. What is up you guys, Jake here. If you guys are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. We do film photography, digital photography, all things photography are on this channel. So be sure to subscribe. So my best friend Junior introduced me to this camera a couple years back. He swears by this camera and he took it on tour all over the world, documenting a bunch of different artists. And the photos that he was showing me that he was getting out of this camera were blowing my mind. One, because usually a good point and shoot film camera, especially these 35 millimeter film cameras that are kind of old and outdated, um, for it to have as good as quality as it does, usually don't find that. So for him to show me the quality of photos that came out of this and then all the features and specs that are on top of this camera, I felt like I needed to talk about it a little bit and show you guys some uh, sample images as well as go into the details. So first off, let's talk about price. Let's get right into price. Um, at the time of filming this video, you can get one of these cameras online at eBay for about 40 to $45, which is an insane price um, to find a good, decent point and shoot camera, especially one that you can rely on and that takes good quality images. Um, I found this one with the case and box, as you guys saw at the opening of this video. I got it for 75 bucks uh, US dollars on eBay. As for the looks of the camera, nothing too special. It's pretty bulky, to be honest. Uh, I do like the black finish. It also has this matte, like matte holding grip that I really like. Makes the camera feel like it can really hold in your hand without, uh, without it feeling kind of, I don't know, a lot of cameras feel cheap. And especially if it's a cheaper camera, usually you're gonna get what you paid for. But with this, the build quality feels very, very nice. But yeah, again, nothing too special or too fancy about the camera other than kind of just a normal looking point and shoot film camera. But because of the bulkiness, with all that bulkiness comes a lot of quality. And when I talk about quality, I mean specs. So let's get into the specs of this camera. Uh, the, the IQ Zoom comes with five autofocus points, which is incredible for a point and shoot camera. I'm just gonna list off some of these specs because uh, to be honest, there is a lot. So the camera's weather resistant, uh, has auto film speed, meaning it will uh, figure out the ISO for you when you put the film in the camera, it has a DX code, that's a whole different topic, but it'll figure that out for you. Um, automatic film rewind and load, to the first frame so when you load a uh, roll of film in here it's going to pull it straight to the first frame and you don't have to worry about that it has a shutter speed from 1 400th of a second all the way to four seconds which is pretty incredible for a point and shoot camera 83 percent viewfinder so when you're looking through the viewfinder you're actually getting 83 percent of what the image is actually going to be which is pretty great for a point and shoot camera uh, usually the viewfinders are pretty pretty off so 83 percent pretty good uh, built-in auto, auto zoom flash, which means that the, the flash is going to adjust based on uh, the zoom portion. Um, and with that zoom portion, you can go from 38 millimeters to 105 millimeters uh, 4.5 lens. So 38 to 105 lens on this thing, which is pretty, pretty crazy for a point and shoot camera to have, have uh, that kind of a lens. And again, we'll get to the sharpness of the photos here in a bit. Um, auto lens retraction after three minutes. So if you leave your camera out and the battery's on, retract the lens after three minutes. So you don't have to worry about that. Comes with a little remote as you guys saw when I was unboxing. Uh, the remote's kind of, I don't I don't know how to, I don't know if I would ever use the remote, but it does come with one. So it's a little like self timer remote and uh, you can take pictures, pretty cool. 2.1 feet focal length, so you can get pretty close to your subject. Um, it has auto light metering. It uses a CR123A battery. So one of those little tiny film batteries, you can probably find them at your local uh, grocery store or department store. Pretty much everything that you're gonna need with a 35 millimeter film camera, auto zoom, a bunch of buttons, auto buttons on top. There's four different buttons here. You have an AF, a timer, a flash. You can also, with I got the date version, so you're able to imprint the date um, of when you took the photo onto the actual film. I don't really use it, but I, I did, again, find this camera for $75 and thought it was a great deal. So let's get into quality. Now specs for this camera uh, don't really matter unless the quality of the image is, is good, right? With this thing, the quality of this camera blows my mind. Um, like I said earlier, sometimes I think that this camera delivers sharper images than my rangefinder camera. The flash fires perfectly pretty much every single time. So if you were to use this thing and you need the flash, it's going to auto adjust the flash, auto adjust to your zoom, and it's going to hit the focus. And the, the quality of these photos are crazy. Um, I, this is a very underrated camera. Uh, and I think um, the more and more people find out about these things, the more and more expensive they're going to become. And when I say extremely sharp, I mean, look at some of these sample images. You guys can zoom in and crop in like crazy. 
uh, for this being a 35 millimeter point and shoot camera again pretty crazy to have that insane of a quality so in conclusion you guys if you are looking for either your first point and shoot camera you just want to add another film camera to your collection or you're kind of on a budget and you want to get into the world of film photography um i could not recommend this camera anymore my best friend told me uh yo that is the point and shoot camera that you should try out with a lot of point and shoot cameras you kind of get what you pay for you you get a cheaper one it's not as good and uh with this thing it's pretty incredible what you can get out of it so uh look into it check it out on ebay see if you guys can pick yourself up one because i cannot recommend this camera anymore and lastly if you guys could it would be amazing and mean a lot if you could like and subscribe to this channel also if you have any secret uh film 35 millimeter point and shoot cameras that you recommend kind of your trusty nifty uh hidden secret let me know i want to know in the comments down below if you guys have a camera like that so yeah give it a look and uh thanks for watching bye